Hi everybody and welcome to the Dive Brief. In today's video we're going to talk about the quarter turn. So a little while back the Dives Alert Network wrote an article about the quarter turn rule whilst diving, which sparked up a bit of a controversy, so I thought I'd take a look and dive a little bit deeper into the subject. So if you learned to dive a few years back or even recently, you may have been taught to open up your cylinder valve all the way open and then just a quarter turn back. To be fair, I used to teach this to my students. Uh, it was just the done thing, really. My instructor taught me to do it, and I used to teach my students. And I still back off my cylinder valves when I pressurize my regulators for a dive. I've never really had a problem with that method, and neither have millions of other divers around the world. There are, however, some reported and obviously other unreported cases where the quarter turn method have actually caused incidents and even a fatality. So a lot of divers are thinking and actually changing their procedures on how they actually open up their tank valves. So let's take a look at the quarter turn, what it is, why we do it or why we did it, why we shouldn't do it and which method is best. The origins for this are to prevent the valve from sticking open or leaking. Older valve designs and changing water temperatures could mean that if you opened the valve up all the way until it stopped, the valve could actually get stuck in that open position and you then couldn't close it again easily. If you're diving in cold waters or breathing the gas a lot so the valve gets cold, the metal of the tank valve can get cold which changes the size ever so slightly of the parts inside. By contracting a tiny little bit pushed up against a different component part, it can actually jam the screw thread mechanism and make it tough to move that cylinder valve. By turning the valve back just a quarter rotation, it just separates those little internal parts a little bit, so a little expansion or contraction won't be an issue, and the tank valve is still mostly open, so it allows for full airflow. Remember that it takes a good three or four full rotations to open the cylinder valve all the way open. And past the first full rotation, the valve has usually got full airflow anyway, so everything else is just a bonus. Another reason is similar to why you don't forcefully close a valve, and that's damaging component parts inside. If you use all of your strength to open or close a tank valve, you're just going to damage parts inside. A lot of the materials inside of your tank valve are just plastic or brass, which is a pretty soft metal in itself. So you can actually stretch the metal and get it jammed if you really open the valve and keep going. A quarter turn back just kind of helps divers know that they don't need to wrench that, uh, that valve completely to the point of damaging the valve. They know that they have to turn it a little bit further back. So they find that maximum point and turn it back so they don't wrench it open. Some valve designs would have a seal to close the valve to actually shut off airflow on one end and another one on the other end that actually helps to stop the gas from leaking inside the handle itself. Opening the valve fully could damage this second seal causing it to leak so divers would think about opening it even more and just causing more damage. So you were taught to dial it back a little bit to stop that seal from being squished and being damaged at the beginning. With modern tank valve designs and materials, it's unlikely that temperature will cause them to jam open in this position. There is a potentially dangerous outcome to the quarter turn method though. If you're unsure of which direction to turn a valve to open it, a diver could come to a cylinder that's completely open thinking that it's closed, turn it all the way closed thinking that they're opening it, and then a quarter turn back. Now this opens the valve just ever so slightly, but not enough to get, breathe more than gently from it. If your tank valve is just a quarter turn open, you can look at your gauges. It says that the tank is full. Take a few breaths from your second stage, look back at your gauges, and it still says that you're full. So now you think that your valve is fully open when it actually isn't. If you actually watch your gauges when you're taking these breaths, you'd actually see that needle quiver a little bit but a lot of divers don't always do that. If you close the valve completely, thinking it was fully open because you always turn the valve until it stops, 
it's much more obvious when you breathe and check your gauges. The needle will drop very quickly when the valve is completely shut and stay down as well. So you know that you need to open that valve properly. As you descend, the gas required to fill up your lungs increases. So your regulator actually requires a greater amount of airflow from your cylinder to supply the required amount of gas. If you need more air because you're exerting yourself in an emergency, you won't be able to get enough gas because it has to pass through that restriction. This, of course, is assuming that you've made the mistake of both closing an already open valve, a quarter turn open again, and you didn't do your pre-dive checks properly, but still. So if you always open your valve fully, you don't really have to worry about that issue. Another reason is the popularity of wireless transmitters. There's a time lag between the time the pressure drops in your regulator, in your transmitter, to it actually showing up on your dive computer. There's a few second lag. If you don't dive with an analog SPG, you may take a couple of breaths, look at the number on your computer quickly, and the pressure doesn't change at all until a second or two later. So you think there isn't a problem. On an analog SPG, however, it's instantaneous. There's also an argument for the restriction of airflow to create a choke point when airflow can actually reach the speed of sound to try and pass through that restriction if the valve is only a quarter turn open. This can cause the regulator to literally lock up when you're demanding gas the most in an emergency, for example, which is of course the worst possible time for it to lock up. That's very much up to you as the diver. The closest thing to modern guidelines and a general consensus at the moment is the fully open method. The valve jamming open issue is very rare thanks to modern tank valve designs and is only gonna be a problem after the dive when you're out of the water or if something terrible has happened in the water and you need to shut that valve. The fully open method is very definitive. Your tank valve is either open or it's closed. There's no ambiguity that could lead to a maybe and a diver jumping in with a valve that is only slightly open. So if you always open it completely, you don't have to worry quite as much. The benefits and reasons for the quarter turn are negated by better valve designs today. If like me, you've been doing the quarter turn method for years and years and never had an issue, then fine, you can continue to do it. But the bottom line is always check properly before your dive. Look at your gauges when you test your regulators. And if the needle twitches even a little bit, check the tank valve. Before you even put your BCD on, check that valve. Make sure it's completely open. Valve handles are like screwdrivers. To open a valve, you just turn it like you're unscrewing a screw. You're basically removing that plug. As long as you check those gauges before you jump in, you shouldn't have a problem. And don't let other people play with your tank valve because other people can get it wrong. If in doubt, open up that tank valve and just check your regulators whilst looking properly at your gauges. Watch that needle. I keep saying it, I've said it about three or four times already in this video. If you take away one thing from this video to prevent any issues about your valve being open or closed, just look properly at your gauges when you're breathing from your regulator. If the needle moves at all, something is wrong. It should be very steady and that way you know that your tank valve is open enough. But what do you do? Are you a quarter turn backer? Um, are you changing the ways that you're thinking about doing things or have you been fully opening your tank valves for years already? Because this isn't really a new concept. Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching everybody. Uh, don't forget to check your gauges and of course safe diving. Music